Hello, and welcome back to the Convert channel, where we talk about everything having to do with CRO and experimentation. If you've been on the internet at all in the past few years, then you've heard a lot about artificial intelligence. Now, AI is not new to the CRO and experimentation world, but for those of you who are still trying to figure out how to integrate AI-focused tools into your workflow, here is what two of our experts had to say about that. Starting off with use case number one. We've already talked this morning about how you can structure uh, SQL queries. I've sought out and used GPT uh, to help me, uh, for example, unnest the arrays that are sitting inside of GA4 data, which I was not ready for. And it helped me and it you know, got it going in a way that I can now boil it down to something very relational. The next part of it, uh, Buren talked about this, is things like joining data together uh, doing analysis or even pushing it to uh, Looker Studio so that it can be you know, presented in a way that we humans can quickly grasp. In the short term, I'm going to encourage us to continue using those tools for those little hops, right? The hop from data capture to data analysis, from data analysis to data visualization. But my prediction is as we move into more of a general type of AI, AGI as many are calling it, that you will be able to collapse those steps and have AI go along all of them. So you can- If you want to watch the entire webinar that this clip is from, you can click on the card above or click on the link in the description. On to use case number two. So let's say you have 10,000 days or whatever of time of Google Analytics data, right? You have optimized data or you have whatever data, GA3 data, and you don't know what to do with it. You can plug that and build your own sub GPT, build your own large language model, use BARD, use whatever. And that in itself can come back and tell you what you should optimize for. So if you have no idea what you're doing and you can't afford to go and hire someone to do like a heuristics or you want to understand the data that you're looking at, the AI can help you with that. All you need to do is feed it in your data, tell it what it is, tell it that you are a gaming company and this is the data, this is what I want to do, give it the box that it is and ask it how to do this. The problem is people wanna to go to AI and they wanna tell it what to do. It's not the right way. That's only going to give you what you already know and what it is in, in context to that. All you need to do here is Give it the parameters and ask it questions. Don't tell it statements. Let it figure it out. And then you say, hey, where should I optimize? Where is my weak point? What, what is the, and it can come back and say, hey, you know, this segment, this data, this time, your AOV, blah, blah, blah. You'd be amazed at the level of detail that can come back. And you can take that and then you can go to the experts and you can give that to them. And you can be like, here, I can't afford the 25 grand or 30 grand or whatever it costs to do an audit, but I can. I can afford five grand for you to look at this AI output and tell me if it's bull. As with the last clip, this clip was part of a longer webinar that we did a few months ago. So if you want to check that out, you can use the card above or the link below. And if you would like to be a part of our next discussion about how experimenters have been using artificial intelligence, then please join us for our next webinar, which is happening on January 30th. The details are on screen and also in the description. We'd love to have you.